Hello, this is a module A2 of the Autonomous Drone Engineer course. Let's talk about usage models for autonomous drones. Autonomous drones are required when you need a very large fleet, because there is not enough pilots for the entire fleet, and pilots could not synchronize their flights, so you need autonomous drones. For example, uh, to deal with the last 10 miles of logistic chains, precision agriculture, or light shows. Um, Illustrated here, we have Intel Drone Light Show for the 2017 Super Bowl. On bottom right, we have the Pest Prevention uh, Drone for Precision Agriculture. Autonomous drones are also required when you need to fly precisely. For example, photos need to be taken from a very specific point in space, or successive flights need to follow the same path every single time. Autonomous drones also bring predictability. You can fly in dangerous sites or near high valuable uh, objects because you know exactly how they will fly. It's predicted by the software. For example, um, illustrated here, we have the Intel Airbus collaboration where uh, an Intel ascending technology drone is taking pictures from very specific points of the fuselage of a plane on the tarmac and later, um, software is doing a 3D reconstruction of the plane in 3D to find the potential defects and document the surface of the plane. Autonomous drones are also required where you need to fly constantly or any time. For example, if you need a drone as an infrastructure in the sky uh, to act as a mobile network or as a low altitude satellite, so here we have two very interesting projects, one from the X company, so it's a Google, called Loon, and Facebook's Aquila. So let's try to imagine how autonomous drone can change your business. For example, let's focus on the last mile of logistic chains. If you replace one delivered truck with 20 drones, you may save time and reduce costs, but it's not the only difference. For example, you have a country hub uh, sending a lot of parcels to city hubs and trucks go from house to house, office to office to deliver parcels. One of the first things you will notice is the difference of latency on granularity. With a truck, it's big. There's a driver, so you need to load the maximum of packages to make it worthwhile. Um, depot is far, so you have to minimize the number of deliveries you do each day. Uh, you try to minimize distance, you try to optimize, but you can't really optimize and improve uh, past a certain point. There is certain limits due to the fact that it's heavy and there's a driver. When you have drones, uh, they can be viable in size, they can adapt to the size of the parcel, uh, they can work from smaller logistic centers closer to the delivery site, and they have a predictable flight time. As a result, you can propose short latency deliveries of small packages. For example, you could have a service delivering one donut on demand. And if you have that, what else is possible? So, as an example here, you have the Wing project from Google, X-Wing, on the Amazon Prime Hair drones. The goal is not to let the logistic centers as they are right now. If you have autonomous drones, um, you can get rid of large buildings close to highways. Uh, you can have decentralized automated logistic centers. Uh, for example, here you have uh, illustrated an Amazon Prime Air uh, patented uh, system to have uh, flying warehouses. Uh, potentially, you could have uh, ships sailing in front of cities, um, or perhaps deliveries directly from trains or trucks. Um, there's a lot of things you can imagine as soon as you have autonomous drone to do the last mile of your logistic chain. To summarize, autonomous drones are not only a way to make great marketing stunts, there is a need and there is a market today for autonomous professional drones. Drones are not just about automating existing tasks, you can do that, but you have specific requirements for automated drones and in return they enable new usage models, so it's up to you to see how it applies to your business.